Hey yo yo, Young Flame here. Today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the too fast. I'm sorry, Fast and Furious one Supra. I caught myself. Here's what I am going to say. This is gonna be a whole uh, video on making a Fast and Furious one Paul Walker replica Supra. But what I wanted to tell you is, stay tuned on my next video because I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a Too Fast Too Furious Supra. It's the gold one from Too Fast Too Furious. Anyways, though, this one is not that. This is just on how to make the first one. So stay tuned to my next video that I make about the Too Fast Too Furious Supra. And uh, yeah, so first thing you're gonna need to do is go on Legendary Motorsports and you're gonna want to buy the Dinka Jester Classic and I believe it's 795,000 790,000 on uh, Legendary Motorsport for the Dinka Jester Classic but you guys probably already knew about that you just wanted to see how to make it um, and yeah so that's what I'm gonna be showing you today oh my god so I've seen all the Fast and Furious movies but especially the first through the third one I've seen those ones the most just because they were more about racing than stunts and everything um, of course they were a little furious in that movie but you know in the in the all the ones above the third one pretty much just got into drug running and bullshit but this is going to be showing you and honestly I don't need any type of example to make this video I've seen that movie so much I know exactly what it looks like I have a picture in my head of the whole damn car for some reason I know but I've seen that movie probably over a hundred times and um the movie actually encouraged me to buy an Eclipse in real life, a second generation Eclipse, and hook it up. Uh, that's how much the movie, ins I guess, inspired me, uh, you could say. But I, uh, so I've seen that so much, it actually made me buy a car in real life. The Eclipse is an amazing car, by the way. Not on the Supra's level, but also not 30000 for a 1990s car. It's like 5 k <laughs> But they still look awesome. Anyways, though, the first thing you're going to want to do is put on the drift bumper with an intercooler. It's the 11th attachment on the front bumpers. Just just cause that's the closest you're gonna get. In Fast and Furious 1, it did have one that hang, hung or hanged or whatever low like that. But um, at the same time, you know that's that's all you're really gonna get. Cause the one that they had, the intercooler was a little bit deeper in it and stuff. But it's GTA. They're not gonna add the identical body kits. So in a ways, drift intercooler with the drift bumper, or just intercooler with the drift bumper, I'm sorry. You want to keep a stock rear bumper on it. As far as chassis go, I'd keep the chassis stock too. Um, there's no point in doing that. Alright, you're going to want to put EMS level 4 on it. As far as the exhaust go, just put the single chrome exhaust on, because I do not believe it had dual exhaust movie. I think all Supers had the single. Uh, it had to have only had single. There's not really any things. Are right, you on stock fenders though? As far as the hood, you want to put on the um, performance hood. That's a very common hood you'll see with the Super that's aftermarket. A lot of people like that. Uh, lights, it's all, do you like Xenon or regular? I guess Xenon is, you know, upgraded. They're like blue. That's all up to you, though. You want no neons on it. For liveries, you want to put on the 10-minute car livery. For plate, you can do whatever you want there. Respray, you're just going to, going to want to make it orange. Orange. Where we at? Orange. Okay, you're going to want to make it orange for that. So that looks pretty cool. Um, let me see as far as pearlescents go. The best pearlescent that you could put on... You know what? If I were you, I'd put a black pearlescent on it. I think it comes with, like, a white shiny one. It wasn't really shiny in the movie. So definitely go and put on a black pearlescent. It just kind of makes it more flat. So you want a metallic color with a black pearlescent. Um... The seats in the movie, the interior was actually blue, but the thing is they had Sparco seats in the movie, they were all black and it just had blue trim, same with the Sparco steering wheel, so that's all on you, um, I think personally if you really want to throw blue on there, definitely go with Saxon blue, Saxon looks to be the closest. So yeah, throw a Saxon blue interior on there, even though it's not 100%, it definitely, the black and blue represents more in the, in the movie, you know what I mean? So definitely want that. You want no roof scoop, because um, it didn't. Throw the primary lip skirts on there. And then as far as spoilers go, ooh, what's the best one? Carbon wing type one. You're going to want the carbon wing type 1. That would be the closest spoiler. 
obviously slam it to the ground, race transmission, turbo tuning. For wheels, you want to go on sports and go on chrome. And then what you're going to want for wheels is the Wangen Master. That is the closest wheels you'll find for it. Uh, definitely don't put any tire design because it just didn't have one in the movie. And keep the windows non-tinted. That is the closest you're going to get to Paul Walker Supra. And if you do enjoy the video, if you want, you can pull up a picture on Google Images though first. And I guarantee you I have the closest replica you'll ever see on YouTube. Okay. That is super close. No one ever gets in the pearlescents in the real low stuff. Like the rims are probably off. I mean that is the closest you're, you're going to get. The single exhaust everything. That is 100% is close. I bet they never never even mention the blue interior because they don't know about that they know the main car but I know everything about that car so anyways I do hope this video gets a good bit of views please share this with all your friends you know show them I'd really appreciate it um because you know I appreciate all the support I get from you guys and bam though look I mean this thing looks amazing definitely you could tell I mean it is a movie car and um yeah so definitely you know subscribe like the video all that good stuff please share it i mean you could look i mean this super does look amazing look how awesome that looks i mean with the blue seats and everything you could look it up this is the best we're gonna get and i know it's you know what i mean it should have been a benny's vehicles if we could have added a sparco steering wheel and everything that would have made it like that much better but you know what i i could see i mean it, it is what it is and they didn't add it i'm just happy that we finally got the super on gta um you know they could have threw it in the way it was and that's why i don't like complaining because the way that it was coming in in super san andreas autos i always forget the name of that update because that update just the name is so stupid and long the southern san andreas autos or whatever anyways though the way they were going to add it there it was going to have no liveries it wasn't even rendered in like the lights like uh oh the one of the light uh, things on it had no glass etc there was just some major mess ups there um, and they did fix it so I do think that it's great that they fixed it um, for sure if they wouldn't have fixed it I, I don't even know but I'm glad that they did and they did what they had to anyways this be your boy flame and I am signing out in this video alright peace though